Hey, hey, up? hey, what is up, everyone? Hey. All right, so this video is how to make your keto coffee. Now, there are several ways you can make your keto coffee. You can make it simple. You can spruce it up. You can add it to black coffee if you need more of a caffeine kick. But we are going to go over the several ways to make your Coffee. Keto coffee. So whether you have a five-day supply, a month supply, a whole 90-day supply, you can make all kinds of coffees. So what you can get, what we normally usually do, we usually add our chocolate greens detox, and this, adding it with the keto coffee, makes it like a, a mocha. So like a skinny mocha dream. So it tastes, it does taste like this, does taste like chocolate, but this coffee is awesome because it'll give you the fat burning benefits. It'll help with your mental clarity and focus, give you energy, help with your hair, skin, and nails because it has collagen in it also, keep you fuller longer, um, and it can be used as a meal replacement. So most times, Portia and I, we get our chocolate greens and we put two scoops of our chocolate greens, or you can get the chocolate greens on the go in that packet pack bag over there on the go and use those so that way if you're on the go you can just whip it in but since we're at home we use two scoops of the chocolate greens now these chocolate greens have over 52 superfoods and 34 foods and vegetables it detoxes alkalizes and balances the body so if you you're so if you're overdue for a detox and That's something what you need yeah this is what you need the greens we also have berry flavor as well also so if you happen to not have the greens um, but you do have your your coffee, you can go to the grocery store. So if you like your coffee sweet, most times people like do add cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. Or creamers or syrups, anything like that. Mm -hmm. You could still totally do that. You just want to make sure that it's sugar-free. Mm -hmm. So it's low calories, low carbs, mm -hmm. and you'll get all the sweeteners that you like. So, but so we, we forgot one. We forgot one, one, I know. You just thought, yeah. I just thought about two. So you can go to the grocery store if you're like, okay, I do want my coffee to be sweet because we, this is, this is, it tastes like an unsweetened cappuccino. So it's very can, creamy. Mm -hmm. So you can go to the store and buy a zero calorie, zero sugar syrup. This one's caramel pecan. Um, we've also tried caramel before, but we, you know, we bought just this for demonstrational purposes and to show you guys that this is zero calorie, zero sugar. And we actually got this we got this from, from Ross. Ross. You can actually, so I was, for the longest time, I've been trying to find them. And I was like, I don't know where you'd find them. Because I would go to, like, where the, the cookies and, I mean, like, the cooking supplies were, like, in the back. And so this is actually the skinny syrup. So probably you could find it online, like, on Amazon. Or if we're going through checkout, check out that area. Because that's where they have, like, the coffees and the syrups and all those candies and good stuff. So that's where you can get this. So we got the caramel pecan. So we're going to try that for the first time today. Um, so we're gonna be interested in that, guys. Yes. Or you can, I, or you probably could just get it at the grocery store. You could get like they don't have this brand. Well, but they do have sugar-free, like the classical right. sugar-free. So no matter syrups. what brand it in, brand it is, I'm sure you could get it from the grocery store as long as it's zero calories, zero sugar. Another thing you can use is my favorite is a sugar-free creamer. Now this is just the the cheap brand that we got, but it's sugar-free. French vanilla, um, easy, get this at the grocery store, make sure you, it says sugar-free at the top, top, and this is a French vanilla creamer, this is, we tried it last night, it's so, so good, good, okay, so, good. so if you want to, if you're wanting to add creamer, you can definitely add the sugar-free creamer, and there's so many other too. flavors, especially during the holidays, you could find, like, pumpkin spice and a sugar-free caramel macchiato, which is one of my favorites, and so, like, there's, you can, like, do a lot of different things that to this coffee and like she was mentioning there is one more type of sweetener that we would use mm -hmm. um and it's called liquid stevia so you can actually go to food for less or your local grocery store hopefully they'll have it i know food for less has it for sure um mm -hmm. and it comes in this little green bottle mm -hmm. okay and it's liquid it says liquid stevia and all you need is like two squirts to give it like a perfect sweetness yes um not too sweet not too stevia flavoring tasting <laughs> It's just perfectly sweet. Yeah, two drops usually does two. the trick. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make our coffees to show you guys how simple it is to make. Now, if you're just wanting to um, try the coffee just by itself, you put it in six to eight ounces of hot or cold water. You can have it by yourself, um, by itself. 
So we're gonna go ahead and add this to one of these cups because I'm personally going to add some greens on the go. So this ratio, water ratio, is two scoops to eight fluid ounces of water. So that's why I do like to use a bigger glass um, bigger coffee cup so that way it's not like two like if it was a smaller cup it'd be like two what's the word too too strong too, too concentrated or strong too so i just need to dilute it with a little bit more water by putting it in the bigger cup and you can if you do get the scoops i know there's some people that like one scoop of it or two scoops so the normal serving is two scoops, but there are people that are like, I don't really like chocolate that much, or that's too much chocolate. Do one scoop, mm -hmm. you know? And then even like, if you got the chocolate greens and you're like, okay, well, I did one scoop of my coffee, how else could I get the rest of the servings? And you can add it to like almond milk or anything like that to really give you your fruits and vegetables for that day. Um, so, so let's make our coffee. All you gotta do is open, rip it open at the top. Instant. It's instant. Pour it in. And then you can add hot or cold water. Yes. Based on your preference, you can make it ice, you can blend it up. Um, I personally, especially in the morning, I love hot coffee. Before this, I actually didn't like coffee at all, but I love this coffee. Yeah, that's I love how it makes me feel. It gives me energy. Um, it keeps me full longer. So you're going you're gonna to notice a lot of different things, especially when you don't have it. You're going to be like, Something's different because it's like this really just gives you mental clarity and clears that brain fog. And it's there's like no comparison to this coffee and your normal cup of joe. Like it's just amazing. Yeah. So yeah, to be honest, when we first came out with this coffee product, I was like, dang, I don't even really coffee. drink coffee unless it has loads of sugar and cream. <laughs> I need I need uh what how do they say it? I need I have coffee more, I have whatever. I'm not I usually would say that I like my sugar and meant. cream with a dash of coffee. Yeah, like, that's there was like no coffee in that cup, except to make it liquidy, but majority of it was like sugar. That, that's exactly what I was, coffee? that's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, and so when, the, when we first came out with this coffee, I'm like, dang. So we tried it without anything. To be honest, the first time I tried it, I was just like, Mm -hmm. I wasn't a hugest fan, mm -hmm. only because it's different. Mm -hmm. It's just different. It's That's different. all. It has grass-fed butter, so it does have like a more of a. It could you could taste more of like a buttery flavor, but that which will makes it really creamy. So the first time we're like, mm, no, we're not yeah. a huge fan. So yeah. we had to figure out how can we make this more liking. Mm -hmm. And now honestly, I love the coffee by itself, and I love it with stuff added to it. I like to try it all different ways. Um, because once I got over like how it initially tasted the first time, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. Like mm -hmm. you just have to figure out how it's you just, like it. Yeah, because just I just never drink coffee. Yeah, so I when never it came coffee, out. So it was, it was just like, like, okay. And then that's why we did find ways to make it drinkable for ourselves. One, I love adding the chocolate grains. It yes. just is mocha drink. Like I like chocolate, so when it comes out and I like mocha, so skinny mocha, yeah. yeah so this is the it perfect makes blend. fat burning and detoxing. It's the best. But when I didn't have this, I did add the French vanilla, and it just makes it taste like a like a like a Starbucks Starbucks drink. It really does. And like, I would add like, like car caramel syrup. Yeah. That's, that so, was her thing. That was caramel my syrup. thing. All right. So find your thing. But yeah. So find your thing. Uh, try it all the kinds of different ways and like add your favorite sugar-free flavors. So I'm going to go ahead and put the two scoops of the chocolate greens into my cup. You want chocolate greens? I do yours? want chocolate greens, but I am going to try this. So I'm just going to add like a capful. I don't know if that's too much. And I'm uh, going to... You look at the... Most times... If the direction? Uh, serving size. Serving know, size. I, I really don't need that okay. much, though. Yeah. I okay. just want to just try it with my coffee. Two. So I'm just going to add. We just got this yesterday. So I like trying new things. So a little bit of that into my cup. Mm -hmm. And so I, what I like, I like if you have a teapot, <laughs> boil some hot water make in your hot. teapot. Make it super hot. We do have also a water machine that gives out hot water. But I like my coffee staying hot for like long periods of time because sometimes it takes us a while to drink it and i still <laughs> like my coffee to be hot right so teapot always does us justice so i'm going to go ahead and pour the water inside now most people when they get this coffee they don't have a frother like this but you can get a frother on amazon which helps it whip it good really good or you can just use a spoon some people use a fork i'm going to go ahead and stir it since most people don't use a frother 
And also for pointers, if you don't have a frother, when you add the coffee and stuff to your cup, you only want to add maybe about an inch and a half of water. Because whether it's room temperature, hot, however, you can even, I heard that it goes better, best, like stirs best without any clumps when room temperature water. So if you did that, you can mix it up. So mix up that little bit of water with the spoon till you get rid of all the clumps or till it thickens up. And then you continue to add like the hot water or add the cold water to it and stir as you're adding. And that's gonna make it nice and creamy and you will not have any clumps. Just make sure you get it all out in the very beginning. Otherwise the frother is the fastest way to go. So it is a fast way to go. It's an, a great it's investment. A, it's a great investment for sure. Ouch, that was hot. It poured <laughs> on my leg. Oh Ouch. my gosh. A lot, just a drop. Oh, just a drop. Woo! Literally, just don't a, do that, just a drop. y'all. So, actually, this stirs the stir. I'm gonna good. use a frother. It stirs pretty good, actually. It stirs. It does stir pretty easily. It's, yeah. Yeah. So I got all the stuff. So then I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. And the chocolate greens pretty much makes the coffee sweet on its own. But since we do have all these things, try it out. Hmm. I'm going to just add a little bit of French vanilla just to see what it tastes like. Also, you guys, when I used to, I actually used to be a barista at a hotel. And when we would make the hot chocolate or like the mochas, they would, or I think it was like the hot chocolate, they would add a little bit of vanilla syrup. So if you want to make yourself like a hot chocolate or like a good mocha, you could get, literally go get yourself some sugar-free vanilla syrup and add it to your chocolate greens and that's going to make it really, really long. I used to remember those were like the best and everybody loved my hot chocolate. I was like, oh, come over here and get a hot chocolate. So. All right, so normally I like it a full glass, full cup of my skinny mocha dream but now today it's a skinny Sorry. mocha with french a little french vanilla so i'm gonna just give this a little sip mm. perfect it tastes like honestly kind of tastes like chocolate milk bomb.com i'm like looking at it you guys i get so excited so in the morning that's so good all right so you pretty good? Yeah, I'm gonna try so, it a little bit too because I added that. So if so. you're so if you're more of a person that doesn't like it sweet, you probably will just like the keto coffee by itself. And if you're, you're if you're a person that does like your coffee black, you could add the keto coffee to um, black coffee. I know I probably said that already. All right, so that is how you make a keto coffee. And if you want to be extra fancy, and extra fancy, you can go ahead and get. Oh, I wanted to show it. Oh, I will. You can go ahead and get. Oh, ready whip and guys did you guys know that this is keto pretty much this is totally keto um it only has less than a gram of sugar of carb one gram of carb too so you can just spruce it up and get fancy smancy i'm gonna put it down now oh because you wanted to show right yep okay so here we go just do like that you could top mine as well. Do yours. Yep. Do like that. And then, you guys, just to be extra fancy, get your chocolate greens and give yourself a little chocolate sprinkle. Mm-hmm. It's so delicious. Make mm -hmm. sure. I want to do mine. I want to do it. I want to do it. So, yeah. And this is, like, the perfect fat-burning, detoxing drink. All right, so if you're losing weight, so if you're losing weight, ouch, I burned myself. So if you're losing weight, if you're on a weight loss journey, you want to drink this as a meal replacement. It'll keep you full and satisfied to your next meal, especially if you have the chocolate greens in there. It's mm -hmm. going to really, for real, it'll give you definitely that mental clarity and focus so that way you can do the things that you need to do to get your day and the job done it'll give you the energy boost the like like she said that mental clarity if you guys ever experience brain fog this is going to help you out tremendously you guys this is this is amazing and bomb dot yeah bomb. so if you have any questions about the keto coffee or um things that you can add to it 
please feel free to message Portia and I or I or drop it in the comments below and we'll answer them for you. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all. And in the description, I'll I'll put I'll write in like the things that you can use and add to your coffee to like spruce it up. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you have more questions, please feel free to let us know. Bye guys. Bye.